Okay, now probably the most important part. So teacher made super easy to work with PDFs, super easy to make it self grading. How much is that a time time saver for teachers? That's a huge game changer for me in comparison to Cami. But now how do I actually assign this to students? So I just spent all this time building this. Again, this is incomplete version. I just wanna show you now how you're going to assign it. So I'm gonna to go to um, my worksheets. And this is the one that I was working on actually. So I'm gonna click actions and I want to, uh, so this is if I wanna share it with someone. Say if I wanna make a copy, you do all these things. Edit properties, that's just gonna be the basic description. Okay, but I'm gonna go back to my worksheets and here's what I want to do. Click preview the worksheet. You're gonna see exactly what the students see. Click this, there's the words they choose from. Here, they're gonna to have to type in their answer. Okay, again, here, they're gonna to have to type in their answer. Here, choosing the right answer, choosing the wrong answer. Here's the multiple choice part, okay? Easy, that's exactly what the students are gonna see. You can see what they have available across the top. All right, but um, from this worksheet, again, going back to my worksheets, just so I don't confuse you, here I want to assign it, okay? Okay, if you were a Google school, students could simply log in using their Google account, okay? Um, I'm gonna leave this, we are not a Google school, so I'm gonna use their name or ID. Now here I can use a list of student names or IDs for validation. And I am going to write their 900 numbers, okay? Just like that, okay? I can choose to show the scores, sure. I'm gonna let them um, score, I can choose to show their score only, the score and their answers for the score and correct answer. Uh, since I'm just gonna let them choose their scores and um, their answers only. Um, and I'm going to want it to show their score as a percentage, okay? So there we go. I can hide the toolbar if I want, but that's it. I'm gonna create the assignment. Okay, now here's the link that I need to share right here. Here you could see these students are waiting to finish. So I'm gonna copy it. All right, and then I'm gonna share it. I can make a Schoology assignment, add this link, okay? I'm just going to paste this link into uh, Microsoft Edge so you could see what happens. Here we go, enter your name or ID to begin this assignment. Now remember, I had them entering their 900 number, and there we go. I now am <clears throat> the student and I can finish, I can complete the assignment. Here is the toolbar available to me. Here is the worksheet. At the end, students have to either click save for later, meaning they didn't finish it, or I'm done. If they click I'm done, it's gonna warn me if there were things that were had to be answered, it's not been done, are you sure you wanna submit? And so students either have to say okay or cancel. If they cancel and just click save for later, now it's saved and they can go back in later, okay? So there you have it, how to assign and then have students work on a worksheet.